a wide variety of different wireless data technologies exist, some in direct competition with one another, others designed for specific applications. Wireless technologies can be evaluated by a variety of different metrics of which some are described in this entry. Standards can be grouped as follows in increasing range order, personal area network systems are intended for short-range communication between devices typically controlled by a single person. Some examples include wireless headsets for mobile phones or wireless heart rate sensors communicating with a wrist watch. Some of these technologies include standards such as ANT UWB, Bluetooth, ZigBee, and wireless USB. Wireless sensor networks are, generically, networks of low power, low cost devices that interconnect wirelessly to collect, exchange, and sometimes act on data collected from their physical environment sensor networks. Nodes typically connect in a star or mesh topology. While most individual nodes in a WSAN are expected to have limited range, particular nodes may be capable of more expansive communications and any individual WSAN can span a wide geographical range. An example of a WSAN would be a collection of sensors arranged throughout an agricultural facility to monitor soil moisture levels, report the data back to a computer in the main office for analysis and trend modeling and maybe turn on automatic watering spigots if the level is too low. For wider area communications, wireless local area network is used. WLANs are often known by their commercial product name Wi-Fi. These systems are used to provide wireless access to other systems on the local network such as other computers, shared printers, and other such devices or even the Internet. Typically a WLAN offers much better speeds and delays within the local network than an average consumer's Internet access. Older systems that provide WLAN functionality include DECT and HIPLAN. These however are no longer in widespread use. One typical characteristic of WLANs is that they are mostly very local, without the capability of seamless movement from one network to another. Cellular networks or one are designed for city-wide global coverage areas and seamless mobility from one access point to another allowing seamless coverage for very wide areas. Cellular network technologies are often split into second-generation 2G, 3G and 4G networks. Originally 2G networks were voice-centric or even voice-only digital cellular systems. Typical 2G standards include GSM and IS-95 with extensions via GPRS. Edge and 1X TT, providing Internet access to users of originally voice-centric 2G networks. Both Edge and 1X TT are 3G standards, as defined by the ITU, but are usually marketed as 2.9G due to their comparatively low speeds and high delays when compared to true 3G technologies. True 3G systems such as EVDO, WCDMA provide combined circuit switched and packet switched data and voice services from the outset, usually at far better data rates than 2G networks with their extensions. All of these services can be used to provide combined mobile voice access and Internet access at remote locations. 4G networks provide even higher bit rates and many architectural improvements, which are not necessarily visible to the consumer. The current 4G systems that are deployed widely are HSPA+, WIMAX and LTE. The latter two are pure packet-based networks without traditional voice circuit capabilities. These networks provide voice services via VoIP. Some systems are designed for point-to-point -point line of sight communications, once two such nodes get too far apart they can no longer communicate. Other systems are designed to form a wireless mesh network using one of a variety of routing protocols. In a mesh network, when nodes get too far apart to communicate directly, they can still communicate indirectly through intermediate nodes. Standards The following standards are included in this comparison. Equals wireless wide area network equals Edge, EV do X1 Rev 0, Rev and A, Rev B and X3 standards. Flash OFDM, Flash, Fast Low Latency Access with Seamless Handoff, OFDM, GPRS, HSPAD and U standards. LoRaWAN, LTE, RTT, UMTS over WCDMA, UMTS TDD, WiMAX, 802.16 standard. 
equals wireless local area network equals Wi-Fi 802.11a802.11b 802.11g 802.11n 802.11 AX standards equals wireless personal area network and most wireless sensor actor networks equals 6 low WPAN Bluetooth V4.0 with standard protocol and with low energy protocol IEEE 802.15.4-2006 thread UWB wireless USB Zigbee overview notes all speeds are theoretical maximums and will vary by a number of factors including the speed of light all speeds are theoretical maximums and will vary by a number of factors including the use of external antennas distance from the tower and the ground speed. Usually the bandwidth is shared between several terminals. The performance of each technology is determined by a number of constraints, including the spectral efficiency of the technology, the cell sizes used, and the amount of spectrum available. For more information, see Comparison of Wireless Data Standards. For more comparison tables, see Bit Rate Progress Trends, Comparison of Mobile Phone Standards, Spectral Efficiency Comparison Table and OFDM System Comparison Table. Peak Bit Rate and Throughput When discussing throughput, there is often a distinction between the peak data rate of the physical layer, the theoretical maximum data throughput and typical throughput. The peak bit rate of the standard is the net bit rate provided by the physical layer in the fastest transmission mode, excluding forward error correction coding and other physical layer overhead. The theoretical maximum throughput for end user is clearly lower than the peak data rate due to higher layer overheads. Even this is never possible to achieve unless the test is done under perfect laboratory conditions. The typical throughput is what users have experienced most of the time when well within the usable range to the base station. The typical throughput is hard to measure, and depends on many protocol issues such as transmission schemes, packet retransmissions and packet size. The typical throughput is often even lower because of other traffic sharing the same network or cell, interference or even the fixed line capacity from the base station onwards being limited. Note that these figures cannot be used to predict the performance of any given standard in any given environment, but rather as benchmarks against which actual experience might be compared. Downlink is the throughput from the base station to the user handset or computer. Upper link is the throughput from the user handset or computer to the base station. Range is the maximum range possible to receive data at 25% of the typical rate. Typical spectral use. Equals frequency equals. See also, comparison of mobile phone standards, list of device bandwidths, OFDM system comparison table, spectral efficiency comparison table, and FCRFID circle. References, ABLTE. 3GPP Website. 2009. Retrieved August 20, 2011. ABCDEF Remax and the IEEE 802.16M Air Interface Standard. Remax Forum. April 4, 2010. Retrieved February 7, 2012. IP Wireless, UMTS TDD Developers Frequency Notes. IEEE 802.11, List of WLAN Channels External Links, Mobile WiMAX, Part 1, A Technical Overview and Performance Evaluation, Mobile WiMAX A Euro Part 2, A Comparative Analysis, A Comparison of Bluetooth and IEEE 802.11, WLAN Trainer at Different Speeds, IEEE 802.11 Standard Overview